Hey everyone, how you doing this evening? I'm Mark. You're watching Trapper Woody. Uh, just wanted to come together tonight on here, get a video out from the last two that I did. Let you guys know who I am. Uh, as I said in the first video, I'm a nuisance wildlife control operator, licensed under Pennsylvania Game Commission. Uh, I'm a trapper, but I do many things in life, and each one's different, and that's what's going to come out on the channel. Uh, different things I do that my brother taught me mostly, and some things that my mom and dad instilled in me. But uh, just to give a little explanation background, this guy here was my oldest brother. He was a self-taught naturalist. He learned from uh, Cornell University uh, how to do many things with animals. He took ornithology at, at uh, Cornell, became a licensed bird bander for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife and the Pennsylvania Game Commission. He did nuisance, wild, or not nuisance, he did injured wildlife rehabilitation. He had hawks, owls, um, raccoons, skunks, possums, coyotes, um, robins, blue jays. People bring them into him. He, he'd take care of them. He had a license underneath the game commission to do it. Did a lot of things. He has a fawn deer in his hand there. I remember that day. Uh, actually got to see it. It should have been left where it was at, but someone heard it bawling and had to go investigate, pick it up, and bring it in. Um, he taught me a lot, a lot about the outdoors. He was uh, instrumental in, in getting the bald eagles back into Pennsylvania. He helped to raise them. He led the, the team on Haldeman's Island in uh, New Buffalo, Pennsylvania back in the 1980s to, re to reintroduce the bald eagles back to central Pennsylvania. Um, you know, here's a little little clipping on him that he was in the in the newspaper about whether the Eagles will come back to Haldeman's Island. And everything here is just a little bit about different things like background and life and that and fun times. I got a video I made on uh, praying mantises on how to get egg sacks and use them for flea control in your yard. I got that video made up. Um, Everything back here, just give you a little background on it. It has some kind of family background into it. This is my gray fox. It took me 40 years to catch it. <laughs> I was trapping for 40 years. Caught eight bobcats before catching that first gray fox. I caught, I don't know how many red fox, raccoons, skunks, possums, muskrats, beaver, a fisher. I caught a lot of different things in there, and it took me 40 years to get a gray fox. And I was very proud that day that I got that. Um, but I was involved with the, up on the one side of the wall there, there's a picture. The 108 mile bobcat, if you look that up on New Jersey Fish and Games website, there is a story about it. The guy had caught it north of Route 80 in New Jersey, and it wound up in central Pennsylvania, 108 miles away from where it was originally caught two years later. Um, I caught it, had to release it. Uh, didn't, it was not bobcat season. I was doing nuisance coyote control for, for the farm where you see me in the muskrat video, and I caught the bobcat, had turned loose. My friend caught her probably about 500 yards away from where I caught her, maybe 30 days later, and he did put a tag on her. Um, he took her, he got the skull and the tag, and the hide. But, uh, things from childhood, family pictures, a book, bird book my brother gave me. He, uh, he got tired of telling me about birds one day. I was probably in my teens. He got tired of telling me about birds and what bird was what and what bird was what. And he told me, he said, get down in my basement down there. On the shelf, there's a bird book. He said, grab it, bring it up. So I did, and he says, take it home with you, keep it. So I've had it ever since. 
it's valuable to me, has sentimental value, and has great value on knowing what, the, what birds are what whenever I look at them. Uh, but yeah, I did catch the muskrat. I did not get it on video. Um, right now, as I'm going forward, just this video, the, this channel being new, I don't want to put uh, caught animals on right yet. Um, I don't want to gear towards all trapping. Like I said, uh, the praying mantises, I gather the egg sacs up, use them for uh, insect control in my garden and also flea control in my yard. And I'm pretty sure they take care of ticks too. But uh, I sh th that video is already made. I got to edit it out and I'll be putting it up. But this is just a little background on who I am. Uh, my wife is involved with it. She's my beautiful doe deer. This picture here is her with a skunk on her sister's vacation uh, cruise down in Florida. She loves the wild animals. She uh, helps me out every once in a while. She doesn't like it whenever they have to be put down, but she enjoys seeing all the animals. Um, what is her money? Everything on the back of the wall here has something to do with our family. My daughter made me that for Christmas. Candy canes, there's a story behind candy canes. My dad always put candy canes on the Christmas tree. I have to have candy canes uh, at Christmas time on Christmas tree, like my dad did. It was put into me. But yeah, um, there's a bunch of different things up here. When my wife gets into helping me do videos, um, when things slow down to her work, that she can help. Her and I will go through and tell little stories about each thing that's up here and what it represents. But it's just, I'm just a regular old person. I don't apologize for who I am as a trapper. I don't apologize for who I am as a hunter. God put that in me. God made me a hunter. God made me a trapper. He put me into a family that taught me everything. He taught me, my family taught me to respect the wildlife make sure there's more for future generations and you know, abide by the laws. I've always done that and uh, it's just how it is. I won't apologize for something that I was taught when I was little that is actually um, instilled in me growing up. So if you like the channel, give me a comment down below, subscribe to it. Uh, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming here. As the weather gets warmer, there's a lot of things that are going to be doing to put together. Um, right now, there's it's a little cold out here in central Pennsylvania. Um, the only thing that's huntable right now is squirrels. And I got a truck that needs fixed, so we're in the process of working on that, and that'll be a video in itself. So that's where we're at, folks. Um, if, like I said, if you like this channel, subscribe to it, hit like, and give me a comment below. And I'll see you later. Thank you.